I had very bad experiences when I was a child and they used to um, drill away to fill your teeth without even giving you an injection. So it was eating raw nerves. And you're going out the back of the chair and he had his knee on you holding you down. It was like a horror, a real horror. So it was that bad, the experiences that I had at the dentist when I was younger, that I'd say, because I had to go regular, my mum and dad made me go regular. Um, about four weeks before I was due to go again, I would be a wreck for the four week leading up to it. And on the day itself, for a kid, I'd say I needed Valium was that bad. Uh, once I got old enough, where my mum and dad didn't tell me to go, I didn't go. To the point where I nearly lost all my teeth mm. at one point, because I got gingivitis. Um, so I had to go in the end, um, and I was lucky to have kept my teeth at that point. And now, um, well, I'm 58 now, so, and I've lost, I have lost my top teeth, um, but I've still got, I have still got teeth of my own. Um, but it's not as bad now as it used to be, because uh, I don't have to have fillings anymore, do I? <laughs> I've, and it had such a profound effect on me that I can't even take my own children to the dentist. And uh, my partner had to take my kids. I could not bear it. I'd be pacing the floor outside God. and a wreck until they got yeah. back out. So my first son, what I had done with him, I had his teeth coated so that he didn't have to have fillings. So as soon as he got a tooth, I had it coated. And that's what I did with him. Oh. Um, but I ended up having six sons, so obviously I didn't have the money to do that. <laughs> But each one of them, I just I don't know, I don't, even to this day I can't go.